Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. I've been meaning to clean out this bag for a long time and I thought I might as well do a video at the same time. But I am a little bit embarrassed to show you this. I am generally a pretty organised person. So the fact that my bag isn't organised is a little bit embarrassing for me. I know I've got a lot of stuff in here that shouldn't be in, in this bag. So it definitely is a clear out. So hopefully I can make some room in it and it can be a bit more organised. I actually only started using a handbag back in October. Again, I used to use a handbag, but when my baby was born, I just put my things into his changing bag because I was carrying too many things as it was. And then when I returned to work, I decided to start using my bag again, um, just because it makes it a bit easier going to work, have my own bag, my own things in it. So uh, since then, I have been using this bag and I generally do take this out with me, even if I'm out with my little boy, because he doesn't need as many things with him now that he's a little bit older. So this is a leather bag. It's got a really, really long strap. If you can see that, extremely long strap. And it's actually on its shortest length at the moment. So it's a over the shoulder type bag um, and I wouldn't want it any longer than it is because it is really really long but it is leather and it's got a little tassel on there that says real leather I think it's a top shop bag I'm not too sure I got it from eBay and when I purchased it it actually was damaged just here the stitch was really really loose so it ended up in a drawer in my bedroom for a lot of months and then I was going away on holiday and I needed a bag that was a bit smarter and could carry a few little bits in um, for a day out so I ended up stitching it up and I've been using it ever since it's not perfect but it does the job so let's go in and see what's in there so it's just a little clasp on the front this one is just for decorative purposes and it has there's nothing on the back it's just a little zip pocket on the front and I've got loads of stuff in here <laughs> so embarrassing Anyway, so I have Debenhams gift card. I think there's a, maybe a pound left on that, so that's why it's still in there. A receipt for the post office. Uh, what's this? Uh, a very old shopping list. I'm not even sure what that's from, but it's old. What's this? Oh, this is when we went to go and get some curtains. I had measurements of the our living room and bedroom curtains. And that's some address, I'm not sure. Some B&B &B address. Um, a used tissue, and that is lipstick on that tissue. Uh, another receipt. Esso fuel station. The Asda receipt. I bought water, apparently. Um, I don't know why I keep the receipts in here, no idea. This is like a sniff box, so it's you just like smell the beads inside and it's for focus. So I use that at work and it's got bergamot, lemon and cinnamon. And a Primark lip gloss pencil or crayon. Another Primark lip gloss crayon. I hardly ever wear lip glosses or lipsticks. Um, I think it's just when I go out on a Sunday, I put them on and they end up in here and I never take them out. That's a set, so that's the kind of lipstick and that's the gloss to go with it. A uh, nail file, a clinic lipstick, lip balm, lip gloss thing, a pen, chewing gum, that's been there, I don't know how long. <laughs> Another Primark lip gloss. A hand cream, like a ten one, a hair bubble, which I always like to have in my bag, some hall soothers. I've had a bit of a cold recently and a sore throat, so I have those in there. My Vaseline, which I use regularly and it is almost run out. Some hair clip things, which I actually never use, so I don't know why they are there in there and no idea what that is another packet of chewing gum no idea where that how long that's been there for uh, bobby pin a thin hair bubble and a broken piece from a kind of bigger hair grip thing like that it's obviously useful another lip 
kind of balm thing. Another hair bubble, and that's everything that's in there. Go into the main compartment now. Some tissues, they'll go back in there. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, these are all gift vouchers from Christmas. So we've been meaning to, um, I think that's something else. Yeah, it smells. Um, been meaning to spend these. So they're in my bag in case we are out at the shops at any point. A purse that I think actually is empty. Yeah, that's actually empty apart from a few like train tickets and things at the back. This is my purse I use if I use my smaller handbag and I've no idea why it's in this handbag. It's if I go out for the evening and I just want to take a little bag, I put this in. So I've no idea why it's in there. Uh, the rest of the, oh, I've got some money as well. This is all from Christmas. So different vouchers and money that we received at Christmas. And we are just trying to spend it in the most productive way possible. And at the moment that means not spending it, obviously, because it's still in my bag. Another used tissue. It's quite disgusting, really. Um, some more tissues, another packet of tissues. Another receipt. Uh, that's fuel. What's that in here? Oh, this is just a material bag that I just use at the shops. Um, if I buy anything, because we get charged for our plastic bags now. Another Asda receipt. And I bought some crisps. Oh, and a Cadbury's twirl. I wonder when that was. I don't remember getting that. Ah, something every woman needs. A nappy. Oh, and my actual purse. So in here I actually have some change in there and some like club card type things, a few receipts, I'm not sure what they're all about. More kind of club cards, different things, and more receipts. Oh, these will be like my post office office receipts if I ever send anything and I want to track it. That's what that is. They need to go because I've had them in there so long. So my different cards and I think there's stamps. No, that's my little boy's library cards. There's stamps in there. And some more receipts that probably need to be taken out. No other money. And some baby wipes to go with a nappy. And that's another receipt. A Primark receipt. Oh, return. So I bought something and then returned one of the items. My work font hasn't been on in weeks, maybe even months. Uh, another post office receipt, I think. Yeah, another post office receipt. Uh, possible place to visit. And another possible place to visit, I think that was. Another little bag for when I go shopping and I don't want to buy a little plastic bag. Another Asda receipt, bought some Muller and teaspoons apparently. Well, that's a long time ago. And this receipt is actually stuck together by something sticky. I think it's like a bit of sellotape or something. It's an Asda receipt. And more receipts, pound stretcher, Morrison's, and another used tissue. I think these are from yesterday. I haven't had them in there that long. We both, me and my little boy, both had colds again, so that's what that is. And this is information about. Um, a play group for my little boy. This that I put on the floor before was um, something at the theatre I'd seen. Not seen it, but I was thinking about going to see it. Tesco receipts. Being and bargains receipts. 
post office receipt. These are oldies receipts. I haven't done this much shopping like in the last week or so. Post office receipt. Barclays withdrawal. This is just information about my little boy's immunizations that he's already had. And this was from when I went to the Jamboree um, launch in the UK. And that went with it. I think it went round your neck. But that's been there since maybe October, September, I don't know. Long time. And what's this? A Wilkinson's receipt. So that's the main component. Oh no, it's not. More tissues. Main compartment all empty. So inside the bag is a little pouch there, but it's not big enough for your phone. I sometimes have a little hand sanitizer in there, but I think that's at work at the moment. So the main compartment is completely empty. And there's just a little compartment inside here, little zip pocket. And that just has my sanitary products in there. And that's all in there. Yeah, there's nothing else in there other than my sanitary products. So that's it. The bag is now, well, my sanitary products is empty. And as you can see, I've pulled all this rubbish out. How did that all fit in there? I'm obviously going to get rid of all those tissues and receipts and maybe help empty out my purse of the things that doesn't need to be in there and put all the bits back that need to be in my handbag so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i've completely embarrassed myself by how unorganized that bag is and these are all going to go back upstairs in my bedroom because i don't need that many lip glosses and lipsticks in my handbag since i don't really wear them apart from maybe on a sunday but thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>